Hello all you wonderful people, it is Watto right here, and I'm going to be showing you how to defeat the egg boss in Build a Boat for Treasure. Now this isn't obviously the place, this is a place by um, another person, I'll leave the link to their thing in the description. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a, a tutorial on how to defeat the egg boss in Build a Boat for Treasure. Um, it is going to be short and easy to follow, hopefully, I don't know how easy to follow it is, but I hope it teaches you quite a bit and how to do it. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so you're probably wondering how do I get to the boss fight arena? Well, it's fairly simple to do. All you have to do is go and get yourself a jetpack or any other flying uh, mobile. Heck, even the, these jetpacks work because they're on sale in the shop. As you can see, for only 350 gold. Um, that should be easy enough to get. And if you can't get it, just go through the course a couple of times and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. All you got to do is fly up here to eventually make it to the boss area. This is not where the boss takes place. It's just where you set up the boss. Now, there's two ways to activate the boss. Um, you can either A, go up here um, and manually place in all the eggs. Or, um, and I'll show you how to place the eggs. Or you can go into this menu and click up. Uh, well, you're already at the boss fight, but once you hit return, it'll take you back. So I'll show you what it does for return. That's what it does. It basically sends you back. But to get there, you can just click boss fight, and it'll send you up here. Um, it's much easier and faster to do, but I'll show you. I showed you both ways. I honestly don't know why you would do it the other way. Anyway, how do I activate the boss? That's a great question. This video will teach you how to defeat the boss and activate the boss. First of all, you must have all eggs. How do you get them? Well, go to my previous video, I'll have linked in the description, or a card at the top right of my screen, kind of where my name is, uh, so you know how to do it. Anyway, once you've watched all of that, I'll give you some time. Okay, since you watched all that, I'll show you what to do with those eggs. And now, what you gotta do is you just gotta run up to all of these little statues. And it's simple as that. You don't have to click anything. You don't have to do anything. All you got to do is shove your face into it. It's easy as that. Um, and it should work if you have all six eggs. How do you know if I have all six eggs? It'll show it up here. Um, so what you do is do this again. Once more. And an elevator will pop out of the uh, cloud and into, well, up here. Um, you've probably seen it in my overall video. But this one is a little more in depth. It'll give you a 60 second countdown to get in. Say you have friends or family or anybody you want to know um, joining, and you want them to come in too, you have 60 seconds for them to do that. You can also see the general structure of this place is pretty interesting. However, there is trees clipping into the thing. It's kind of annoying, but you know, I can't be too nitpicky. It is just a game made for kids um, and not meant to be taken super seriously. The general structure of the elevator is just a general box, um, and there's little trees here. They have collision for the leaves, which is kind of weird. I haven't seen that much, but anyway, let's skip to when this thing goes down. So that'll be in 18 seconds. I decided to give you guys the three count, so you can see what happens as it counts down. As you can see, the doors begin to shut. Nothing happens inside here unless you're teleported, which you get teleported seconds after to inner cloud this is another world in chill studios kind of like the secret place um in here you will see a little numpad up here that starts at eight and counts down seven six five four three two one in very pixelated numbers and you're probably like how is that a five believe me it's a five trust me trust me yeah i bet you can trust me um also here it shows the little keypad going down um so it's very easy to follow and know what you're doing Okay, now that you started the boss fight, this is where the fun begins. A little platform will come out and begin the fight. There's also a little button that says don't push. You guys probably know what you have to do. You have to, you have to push the button. Push the button and the doors will lock and this angry fellow will come out from under the ground. You can tell he's pretty angry taking that he's... He turned red and like exploded. Now, there's two ways to do this starting area. This one's the one with the lasers, and I find the easiest out of all of them. And that's out rightfully so. All you gotta do is jump over it, and that's about it. However, if you want, you can just jump on this pole right here. 
uh, and avoid all damage. Um, this may be kind of cheap, and this won't work for much of other things, but this first wave is a breeze with this technique. Um, so I do hope that does help. Um, so, yeah. But now you can see there will be three lasers, which you cannot jump over. You have to go inside of a hole. Um, and that is, well, expected. But sometimes those holes move, which can be very difficult to keep up with. Uh, and since they only really move like one away from each other, it's not the hardest thing, but it is still annoying. And if you're lucky, it'll not move whatsoever. Uh, but be aware that it does move. Now, this part is like snake, but it just takes you around the area. Um, nothing really too hard. Uh, you just have to walk until the lasers come in. And, well, the lasers do come in instantly, but that's just an added difficulty of it, so I guess I shouldn't have separated them. Um, but another laser comes in once it gets a little bit harder. And what I recommend doing is like uh, waiting for the laser to come and you jump over it. And you can also predict where it comes, but that isn't the best idea because you don't know if your game's gonna like or it just stops like this. It will stop like that, catch up with some other things. Now you can see there's two lasers um, in the snake platform. So this is the two laser snake platform part, um, which is pretty difficult to dodge sometimes. But you shouldn't have that much trouble with it taking it this is the first wave but now it's going to get much harder taking that um this platform turns down into just two um you may be saying how do i do that uh, but it's actually fairly easy you just dodge it once or twice and you should be good i think you get completely yeah you get completely healed up um and he comes out again pretty angry so yeah so when you do this, you have to get to the center because all those tiles are red. Um, and these spike walls will come out. Now what you have to do with this one is you have to avoid every single place where this spike is red. Now the first part is kind of easy. You know what you're doing. All you have to do is just avoid one side. All you have to do is really look at one side and that'll pretty much be set. And I accidentally pressed the wrong button, um, which led to me dying. Now, eventually, they'll get a little quicker, um, which is bad. And then, there will be three. Now, you only have to look at one side for this one first part. And then, you have to look at two sides. Jeez, I got squished. I recommend staying in the center. Um, now, with them being on coming on both sides, you have to look at at least one area. Um, now, this can get very deadly because it is very quick sometimes. And... Yeah, all you have to do is avoid one side of both sides. Um, and eventually, there only comes one slot that is free and safe to go to. Now, you can tell I'm getting a little bit scared because it gets a little bit fast. And I suggest standing in the middle area because that's probably the quickest place to go to other places. Um, and I'm going to miss this one. Um, but it gets very fast, very quickly. Um, and eventually, there only comes one place that's safe. And this is the top right corner. Um, this is going to be the bottom left. Um, this is the bottom left, right. And then the top left. So, I don't know if it does it every time or it's just random. But I just follow it to be sure. Don't predict it. Um, but for now, I'm good. I feel like this is similar, but still very different. Now, that's it. But this, these things just begin to fall. Because that's the end of that part now this part is similar but shorter and not as hard if you know what you're doing I recommend staying in the center okay yeah I didn't know what I was doing um but yeah so what you're gonna want to do is you have to pay attention very very close because these little things come out on one side and this won't go to the very end but you there's a high chance you miss it if you're not paying attention I recommend standing in the middle because it's easiest to dodge Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, I didn't expect it there. I didn't think, I thought they were coming in the middle. Um, but yeah, stay in the middle when these things come out. Um, and then they only do it one at a time. It doesn't do two at a time. It gets faster, but never both at the same time. That'd be a little hard. 
the dodge. But yeah, that's about it for this part. And then we move on to the second part. I think you get healed after this. Yes, you get completely healed up um, and ready for the new boss. Now, he gets very angry still. Reasonably so. Um, it is kind of annoying when someone like me is just trying to destroy all your eggs. Or take all your eggs, because this guy's probably a rightfully owner. But you probably remember this from last year with these guns. They aim at you and try to shoot you. My best plan of action, hide behind these walls as fast as possible. Stand in the center of the room, because that's where it's most likely to be the fastest way to get to each place. And you have some time to dodge them, but don't worry, you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, but I didn't go to the center, which kind of is going to be pretty bad if they don't get there in time. Um, and they get lower and lower each time. They can't really be jumping. Um, now, they start spawning in the middle. And you have to find a place to actually get out of the way of them. Which could be very dangerous. I'm pretty sure this one's like kind of copied from last year. I don't know how copied it is. I know it's copied. It's, it's not copied copied. But it's the same as last year's one. In this part, you have to memorize which way they're coming from. The first one came from the left side, the second one came from the right side, the third one came from the back side, front side, back side, and the second, third, fourth one came from the front side. I don't know. I don't know how it stays similar. Oh, okay. If you want to get, if you get on this, get, make sure to get off because you may sink in the ground. This is the last wave where the king actually comes out to come and attack you. Now, this may be very difficult or it can be very easy sometimes depending on what you're doing. So. This thing always aims first. The only thing you have to do is just stand in front of it. You know it's going to shoot you, but as long as you move out of the way fast enough, you should be good. Now, for this part, you wait for them to shoot you, because then this laser guy comes in, and he doesn't actually move. He just stands there for a bit, doing nothing. Which is kind of annoying, but it's good for us. This one, you could stand behind something for once. And still have it aim at you, at the king. And the fourth and final one is a st it's probably the hardest out of all of them. But it's not that hard. All you have to do is just make sure the laser stays on him um, and around him. And there you go. You'll have it done. And you have finished the boss fight. You'll get scrambled eggs, a gun, and a crown. Now, this is probably the only weaponry you see in Photo Book Treasure. You could probably tell this is a really nice made thing. Um... You go like outside the windows. Uh, I don't know what you could do actually outside here. I don't know if you could stand on the windowsill. Um, no, you can't. You cannot do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, don't jump off. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for the boss fight in Build a Boat Treasure. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to please like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.